Good morning, my beautiful, lovely, delightful internet friends. It is 8 a.m. on a Monday? Monday, it's Monday morning. I thought I would take you guys along with me for 24 hours in the life of an amputee with a prosthetic leg using wheelchair, going to jiu-jitsu practice, and just sort of uh, a vlog of what average daily life looks like today. Please ignore the crunching in the background. So I'm excited to kind of share my day and what that looks like with you guys. Let's hop back about an hour and a half to when I woke up this morning. So since I do not sleep with a prosthetic leg on, the first order of business in the day is to always get that on. I say hi to the puppies, make the bed, and then get over to the bathroom to get my liner and then my prosthetic leg situated. Now, one thing about being an amputee is that your leg changes sizes and overnight your leg might not fit quite right. Um, so this is me kind of struggling to get my leg in because it's a little more swollen than it was the night before when I took it off. But once I pop that on, uh, I've got it, we're good to go. Let's go take care of those puppies. Empty dogs have so much energy every single morning. What do you do? Do you sleep well? Weird. Is that a tennis ball? Is that a good tennis ball? So once I got the puppies fed and let out, I usually grab breakfast right away. I made some cereal, made some cereal. I poured it into a bowl, drinking coffee and journaling. I find that if I can journal at least a few days a week, it's really good for my brain. I also like being able to go back and review the footage. Also, don't mind all the nose prints on the window that you just saw, thanks to these guys. But then after that, I usually jump right into work. I just kind of switch sides of the table and switch into work mode. This morning, I was working on a video that I was running late on, uh, so I was kind of hurrying to make a deadline. So usually when I'm sitting down to work in the morning, I'll use my wheelchair for the next few hours so I can take my leg off and be comfortable. But I've been having an issue with a raccoon in my backyard and I leave the door, you know, cracks the dogs and come in out and enjoy the morning. But I'm really worried about that raccoon still being there even though it seems like he's gone because he's gone after my dog, my dogs have gone after him, and I can't get to them very quickly if I have to put my leg on and so I'm just too anxious to take off. So I'll bring them in shortly, uh, but for now I'm gonna work with my leg on. So you may be wondering to yourself, don't you shower in the morning? The answer is generally yes. I rinsed off last night because I actually have jiu-jitsu practice here in a couple hours and it doesn't really make sense to like shower and get totally ready for the day before going and getting super sweaty again to then take another shower. And so I'm just, we're rocking this look for now. Shower later. I was just checking emails and I still haven't heard back from my rental company. I reached out to them two weeks ago because I think I may realistically have to move. Um, just for accessibility needs with my leg because I cannot use my wheelchair effectively throughout the day and my leg is in a lot of pain. And so I was inquiring about transferring my lease to a different property or like seeing what we could work out. And I've called them three times. I've sent a number of different emails and nothing. So it looks like I'll be calling them again today and emailing them again today. All right, I got the video edited in time for the deadline. So that is going out. And I think in the meantime, we should get the puppies some pup cups, some puppetinos. What do you puppies think? Before we grab those pup cups, a Quick word from our sponsor. A huge thank you to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. Ritual is the obsessively researched multivitamin that is reimagining health from the ground up. It takes the guesswork out of vitamins with transparency. I've always felt like choosing a multivitamin can kind of be overwhelming sometimes. We've all been there walking down grocery store aisles, staring at the array of multivitamins and being like, I don't know if it's in this or if I need it. I personally really like that I can take their delayed release capsules on an empty stomach or after eating something. I don't get like that stomach upset or heartburn that I've gotten before with other multivitamins. Oh, hello, we have a guest. Mr. Leo, you can't eat my things. So I love using Ritual because I know exactly what I'm taking. Their vitamins contain nine high quality nutrients from D3 to omega-3 that are difficult to get enough of every day even with a healthy diet. They're vegan friendly, gluten free, allergen free, and contain no added sugar. They also have this little mint tab in every bottle to keep your vitamins smelling fresh. I don't get like that stomach upset or heartburn that I've gotten before with other multivitamins. Transparency is at the core of everything that Ritual does, which can be hard to find in today's day and age sometimes. From the way the nutrients are sourced to the environmental impact of material used to ship their orders. They offer a bunch of different options like a men's multivitamin, a 50 plus vitamin, kids, teens, you name it. Right now, Ritual is offering you actually 20% off your first month. I've been filling in the gaps in my diet with essentials for women. So whatever multivitamin is gonna work for you, take that small step that supports a healthy foundation for your body by using Ritual. Again, that's 20% off one month's worth of vitamins or protein by going to ritual.com slash footlessjoe20 and using footlessjoe20 at checkout. Click the link in the description to check out Ritual and up your multivitamin game today. Day. With that being said, let's get back into the video. You think you deserve some puppuccinos? Yeah. <laughs> I love car rides. You can't drive, buddy. You don't have your license. Back up. My car is so dirty from these little monsters. Um, I think we need some Louis Capaldi for this car ride. Turn right up, guys. This is the good part. Can I just get a uh, Americana? Oh, I'm so sorry. 
Sorry. Someone is feeling very on guard today. You're usually so good in drive-throughs. <laughs> Thank you. Back. <laughs> Once we have acquired the pup cups, we go find a parking spot so we can safely give the puppies their treats. Leo is so messy with his. He just drools everywhere. Happy puppies. All righty, home. Time to keep working. <laughs> Okay, so now that we're actually home, the dogs have had their playtime, I'm gonna go ahead and get comfortable, use my wheelchair and take my leg off. Cause this thing is not feeling super great today. It's like 10.30 and I'm gonna make a pizza, bear with me on this one, uh, to eat a lot before I go to practice. I try to really make sure that I'm consuming a lot of food on practice days because sometimes like using a prosthetic leg and using a chair now, it's hard to get enough energy consumed throughout the day to make sure I'm feeling my body. But especially with jujitsu, it is a very high intensity sport. And so I like to make sure that I am well fed Am I counting having an organic pizza as well fed? Yes. Yes, I am. Perfectly done. Look at that, guys. Just, just look at it. Time to get dressed for practice. Okay, I'm not sponsored by Liquid IV, but I just wanna give them a shout out. I've been using them whenever I go roll or train. They are awesome uh, for staying just super hydrated and kind of keeping the energy up. So if you never tried them, I would recommend it. Okay, it is Jiu Jitsu practice time. So I haven't talked a whole lot about my journey with Jiu Jitsu on this channel, cause it's always something I kept personal. I trained Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for a number of years before losing my leg. And after I lost my leg, I tried to get back into it a couple times, but life and then surgeries got in the way. And so I didn't continue with it. But about two months ago, I realized, are you licking my back? Why are you licking my back? <laughs> that I really needed something to keep my brain going. Kind of had stopped doing most things in my life, was very depressed. And so as, as an exercise in mental health care, more than anything, I made the commitment to go back to jiu-jitsu at least three times a week. Um, there's community and connection there. Actually getting out of the house and seeing people, working towards a new skill, moving my body, which is really good for my mental health, my brain. It is the one thing that I've not compromised on, I've told myself I'm gonna do regardless of how I feel today, I don't wanna go. I don't feel like seeing people, like talking, I don't feel like moving my body, I don't feel like it. But this is one of those things that has been really, overall very beneficial, and I've never once regretted going, even when I really didn't want to, so we're gonna do this today. Okay, so we made it to jiu-jitsu practice. Time to go learn some head locks, wrist locks, and my very favorite chokes. But what I really like about it is that I don't need to use my prosthetic leg. In fact, I can't because um, it doesn't have range of motion. Also, you can't really be rolling around hitting people in the head with a titanium ankle. So I just completely take it off. It's way more comfortable. I feel super free. And so far, it hasn't aggravated the issues that my residual limb is having too much. So fingers crossed that continues. <laughs> Here's the, the post jujitsu hair. It does a good job of really flushing my skin and giving me one heck of a hairdo. All right, I got like 20 minutes to get home and shower, so let's do that. It's really my intention to shower because I have a video meeting, uh, but I ran out of time. So we just did the pull the hair back and hope that no one notices. I smell like a lot of different people, a lot of sweat right now, but they can't, they can't smell me. So I feel like this should be fine. I did it guys, I showered. Thankfully the meeting went absolutely amazing. They did not mind that I smelled terrible over video. And now it is time to head to a game night with one of my dearest friends. And then we'll get back home and get this leg off for the night. It is 10.30 and definitely time for some sleep. What do you think, Leo? Think it's bedtime? It actually doesn't matter what he thinks, it is bedtime. So let me get this leg off, get comfy, get cozy, get some sleep. This lighting is a little ominous, goodness. Do you have enough pillows? Do you have enough blankets? Yeah. So this goes out to all of my female identifying friends out there. You know that feeling at the end of a long day when you finally get to take your bra off? Sweet Jesus, the relief. This right here, so much better. So my end of day leg care routine has gotten very simple. I usually just take my leg off, lean up against the side of the door, kind of keep it away from dogs because if they rub against it. This material attracts dog hair like it has no other job. And I do a quick rinse off of this with this liner wand solution, not sponsored. I will put their link in the bio down below. It's really great. It helps with odor control because, I mean, let's be real. My leg is encased in something that's basically rubber. It doesn't breathe for many hours during the day, meaning that, uh, 
month, a few hours in, this isn't smelling so great. And more importantly, it can build up bacteria, lead to infections, things like that. It's not taken care of properly. So I do a quick wash, hang it up to dry, and then pass out. Also, there's no need to comment on the fact that my shower curtain is down. It didn't want to live, okay? I followed it for quite some time. It had no desire to stay up in the world anymore. After like the 47th time it crashed to the ground and scared me, I decided to give up. Could I solve this problem by buying a different shower curtain rod? Maybe. So I've been trying to hop a lot less, like I talked about, and so sometimes I'll just do the uh, the knee walk across the floor. Is it classy and glamorous? Yeah, absolutely it is. The other reason I do it, obviously. But now it is time for sleep and some puppy kisses. Thank you so much for joining me on my day today. I truly appreciate it. I'm exhausted in the good way. Oh goodness, there's so many dogs. Help. Thank you again to our amazing sponsor for sponsoring tonight's video. Lots of kisses, so many kisses. And tennis balls. A huge thank you to all of my sponsors over on Patreon for sponsoring this channel, enabling me to do what I do. To you watching this video right now, thank you for spending a few minutes out of your day here with me today, joining me for my day. Now a pretty normal day, the kind of day that I'm a big fan of. We love you guys, we're thinking of you, and we will see you in the next video. Mwah!